for as long as the two operating systems have been around. There's always been a lifelong debate as to which is better, Android or iOS. Well, this video has absolutely nothing to do with that. Hi, I'm Ryan, and welcome to Addictions. Over the last 10 years, I've owned a number of phones, be it an iOS or an Android device. And I would say it turned into a rather expensive hobby. I can, however, agree that it's been the starting point of many heated conversations. So, with time, I started looking at cheap alternatives to get my hand on the latest tech. And that's when I explored places such as Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace. What I noticed, however, over the years is that there has been a significant price drop in Android devices versus iOS devices. Take the S20 Ultra for example. It's a month after its launch. And right now, if you browse, you'll find them selling for in the region about 17,000 Rand. Now, bear in mind, brand new, those devices sell for 27,000 Rand. That's a 10,000 Rand saving. Okay, okay, I understand. There are a number of pitfalls and the possibility of dealing with a number of dodgy characters and outright people that's trying to scam you out of your money. But I'm not trying to convince you to look at those sites. What I'm just trying to point out is that it's quite alarming how something this expensive drops so significantly over a month. When you compare it to something on the Apple side of things, take the iPhone 11 Pro Max for example. That phone is now six months old. Yes, the 64 gig model of course comes at a lower starting point be it around 25,000 Rand, those devices are still selling for in the region about 20,000 Rand. You can find the occasional one or two that's probably in the region about 18,000 Rand. However, it's still a notable difference in comparison to an Android device that drops so severely. Am I saying that Android is crap? No, by no means. Android actually retains about 70% of the market where the devices are concerned. And those devices give you a lot of bang for your buck. You get bigger screens, bigger batteries, expandable storage, and there's a bigger variety that you can choose from. Something that suits your needs at the end of the day. Well, what I can say is, there's a number of reasons why Android devices depreciate that quickly. It could be down to a few of these. There are a lot more manufacturers for Android devices. Name LG, Samsung, Sony, Huawei, to name a few. Those devices come in both low and high spec. And also, if you look at a couple of months down the line after a flagship device has been released, a mid-range or low-spec device has similar specs. So, smartphones themselves don't have a very long lifespan. I mean, take it, the latest phone that just released, the very next day, there's a concept of the next best thing. Also, at the rate that these devices are launching, manufacturers themselves don't offer great backup where software support is concerned. You might get two years of updates which maybe if you can live with it you lose out on some newer features that might launch the camera quality might incrementally increase a month or two down the line a flagship device is beaten by something at half its price whereas on the apple side of things they are the only manufacturer for their operating system and when you look at security updates the iphone 6s which is a five-year-old device still has the latest of ios yes they are more expensive to buy first of all much more expensive to repair and the one thing that apple doesn't do is discount as easily which might aid in the reason why the devices hold the value so well on the software side of things however both android and ios offer somewhat a similar experience they all have apps they all have games social connectivity as well as occasionally making the random phone call and text messages what phones are actually used for. That's of course apart from the few exclusive benefits of each ecosystem. So please don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to discourage you from buying an Android device over an Apple or vice versa. What I'm trying to point out is that chasing the best of the best where technology is concerned, a smartphone is not an investment. However, if you can afford the latest tech on the market, do so by all means. I know I would do the same. If you have ever any questions, please post them down below. I'll try to comment. And if you would like to subscribe, please do. Let's just hope my next video doesn't take a year as well. Until then, take care.